The Amazon is the world's largest tropical rainforest, covering over 1,360 miles. It's so big that the United Kingdom and Ireland would fit into it 17 times, and it's found in South America, spanning nine countries, including Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, and many more. So there's a lot going on here in this unique ecosystem. Home to a large variety of plants, animals, and trees, this rainforest has many interesting features that you won't find anywhere else. 15 most chilling things you'll only see in the Amazon. Giant Titan Beetle In prehistoric times, insects grew to be as large as birds. The insects who died long ago had enormous wingspans, some as large as two and a half feet. They also had huge jaws and were probably vicious predators. Thankfully, they went extinct a long time ago. Today, insects don't grow anywhere near this size, but the specimen we'd like to introduce to you is the Titan Beetle, the largest beetle in the world. The largest recorded specimen to date measured six and a half inches. Titan beetles have strong mandibles that can snap wooden pencils in half and sharp claws on their legs to protect them from predators. And they hiss to warn off aggressors that are foolish enough to come close. Titan beetles live in tropical rainforests in South America, so you're unlikely to see one dashing across your North American kitchen countertop. Despite their size and elusiveness, though, the Titan beetle has a great many secrets. This beetle lives in some of the Amazon's hottest and most inaccessible tropical rainforests and only ventures out into the open when seeking a mate. And many bug lovers travel to the rainforest to see the Titan beetles in their natural habitat. <coughs> Creepy Giant Ant Eaters When it comes to this unusual animal in the Amazon, looks can be deceiving. There's more to the story of the giant ant eater. This unique animal is the largest of the four ant eater species about the size of a large dog, but thick, bushy hair makes it look even bigger. Its name is a hint to one of its favorite foods, and you can't miss its long snout. The giant ant eater's elongated head and nose are perfectly designed to get in and out of a termite mound or ant hill. The crazy thing about these creatures is that although they have poor vision, bad hearing, and no teeth, ant eaters can be deadly. Recently, a gruesome ant eater attack left one hunter dead just two years after another man was killed in a similar confrontation with one of these long-nosed creatures. Can you even imagine? While such incidents are rare and anteaters usually avoid contact with humans, the attacks should serve as a warning to humans encroaching on their territory. They have four sharp claws on both of their forelimbs that they can use to quarry anthills and termite mounds, and apparently to inflict fatal wounds on humans. The creatures assume a standing position when they feel threatened, sometimes referred to as an anteater's hug. But they're not looking for affection. It's a red flag. Amazonian Stonehenge This pre-colonial astrological observatory in the rainforest was built to be aligned to the sunrise during the December solstice. The so-called Amazonian Stonehenge in Brazil's northernmost state, Amapa, is believed to have been constructed over a thousand years ago, but the site was only discovered in 2006. Taking its name from a nearby stream called the Rego Grande, the stone arrangement comprises 127 blocks of granite standing upright in a circle over 98 feet across. Each of the blocks stands up to 13 feet tall and weighs several tons. The Amazon Stonehenge may have been used as a place of worship as well as for astronomical observations. While the United Kingdom's Stonehenge is thought to date back to 3000 BC to 2000 BC, this monument was constructed later, around a thousand years ago, some 500 years before Europeans began colonizing this part of the Amazon. And that's why the indigenous people here may have been more sophisticated than archaeologists first thought. Despite not knowing the exact use of the Rego Grande site, most scientists agree that it alludes to a pre-Columbian society that was ahead of its time in many ways. <laughs> Aliens in the Jungle As biologically diverse as the Amazon is, this peculiar creature would not appear to be a natural inhabitant of the Brazilian jungle, or Earth for that matter. Standing just a few feet from a mesmerizing flashing light, this unidentified being could offer proof that we're not alone in the universe. It's claimed to have been filmed by two British tourists visiting the region of the Amazon. While the camera is focused on some young children, seen in the distance behind them is a silvery light. 
However, it's only when the eyes are diverted to the surrounding jungle does it become apparent that there's a small being standing beside a tree. Is it the unmistakable form of a so-called alien? No explanation is offered as to what the light may be. While for many, the images can simply be dismissed as a well-executed hoax, there are people who believe that this sighting proves the existence of aliens. What do you think? It comes from an area known for experiencing intense UFO activity, and some say the aliens are interested in this region due to its biological diversity. Plus, there are rumors that the area was also the focus of a high-level Brazilian government investigation where the army was sent in to monitor and confirm an alien presence in the region. <laughs> Map and Guri Could there be a Bigfoot in the Amazon? A creature that for the longest time has been said to roam the rainforest of Brazil. But with the theory of a long thought to be extinct being behind these so-called Bigfoot sightings, it could prove to be real. The vast Amazonian jungles are said to harbor a huge monster that's wrapped in mystery and local legend, the Mapinguri. Though the beast's physical descriptions may resemble the Sasquatch of North America or the Yeti of Himalayan lore, the comparisons stop there. Unlike its counterparts elsewhere, the creature does not flee human contact, but aggressively hunts us. Yikes! Nearly every tribe in these regions has a word for the creature, which can usually be translated as the roaring animal. They say it has a body of a giant bear, the backward turned clawed feet like those of a giant armadillo, the face appears monkey or even human-like, and a roar like endless thunder. Some legends even attribute its powers to the supernatural. But all accounts agree that the creature is tall, about seven feet, its upright bulk disconcertingly human-like when it stands on two legs, that it emits a strong, extremely nauseating and disabling smell. Bigfoot? How about Big Stink? Mysterious Silk Hinge You're not gonna believe this, but this mysterious spider craft towers out of silk. Look at this cool footage of a spider spinning an intricate version of Stonehenge called Silk Hinge. Strange structures featuring a central tower of silk with a fence of silk spires surrounding it, confounding scientists with its intricate creations. Not only are the clever spiders still unidentified, no one has ever seen the arachnids actually make these works of art. But if there's good reason for these silk structures that sort of resemble a white picket fence surrounding a tower, spider babies. However, still more mysteries surround Silk Hinge. For one thing, scientists don't know what kind of spider creates it. DNA testing didn't match any known species. Of course, not all known species have had their DNA sequenced, and baby spiders are difficult to identify by appearance, so the researcher's next big task is to catch an adult in the act of building one. As for the silk fence, it may protect the eggs by keeping out water, or perhaps its function is to ward off parasites or predators. But inside, new spiders are getting ready to enter the world. <laughs> Strange Pink Dolphins Dolphins are some of the most loved marine animals in the world, though most people are only familiar with dolphin species that live in the ocean. But the Amazon dolphin, also known as the Pink River Dolphin, or Bodo, lives only in fresh water. It's found throughout much of the Amazon River basins. It's obviously famous for its pink color, but many don't know that it also comes in a variety of other shades. The dolphins actually start off gray when they're young and slowly turn pink as they get older. However, the truth is that the Bodo, one of the few remaining freshwater dolphin species on Earth, is still something of an enigma. Out of the five freshwater species of dolphins, the Pink River Dolphin comes out on top. Measuring up to 9 feet and weighing up to 400 pounds, living up to 30 years, they also have unusually large brains with roughly 40% more brain capacity than humans. These dolphins are incredibly curious and outgoing animals. They have also been known to be fairly interactive with humans in the region, and the good news is that they are relatively abundant freshwater dolphins with an estimated population in the tens of thousands. <laughs> Trees that walk Of the more than 80,000 plant species that scientists estimate the forests of the Amazon may be home to, perhaps one of the most unusual is the walking palm. Like the Ents from the J.R.R. Tolkien's epic Lord of the Rings saga, these trees actually move. The interesting fact about this type of tree is that it employs a method for moving on when the soil is stripped of its nutrients. By producing new aerial roots that reach through the jungle, the walking palm is able to very slowly relocate to another part of the forest floor. 
specifically nutrient-rich soil and access to life-giving sunlight. They've adapted this way because these trees must compete with the neighboring trees in the forest. The trunk of this slender palm tree emerges from a cone-like set of aerial roots, visible above the ground. Acting like stilts, these roots keep the trunk raised above the forest floor. Some reports have claimed that this palm may be able to move up to 50 feet from its original position, in a process that can take years. Plus, its straight and slender main trunk has been used in the construction of huts or for making spears. The yellow fruits of the walking palm are edible, and traditionally its roots have also been used by forest-dwelling peoples in their medicinal practices. <laughs> Plastic-eating fungus while scientists and fungus experts are in the know about these organisms' ability to eat plastic, it's big news to most of us, and now they're trying to figure out how this fungus can help the planet and actively attack one of humankind's biggest pollution problems, plastic. Could a solution to various environmental issues be solved with a secret from the Amazon jungle? The experts think so. This fungus in the Amazon's rainforest can degrade and utilize the common plastic polyurethane. A mushroom that eats plastic? Even better, the fungi are capable of surviving on plastic alone. It consumes it, which is the main ingredient, and converts it into organic matter. They can also live without oxygen. That's why it makes for the perfect candidate of cleaning up landfills. Scientists even believe their plastic-consuming skills could be applied in the household setting. In theory, these miracle fungi could be utilized in at-home recycling kits. In addition, community recycling centers could have fungi systems built in to utilize this process. Now here's the fun part, they're edible! But before you chow down, more studies are needed to determine the safety of feasting on these mushrooms. But in the meantime, let them eat all the excess plastic they want. <laughs> Evil Genius Spider Decoy Found for the first time near the Amazon, these cyclosa spiders do something a little creepy to fool predators. They build giant replicas of themselves out of insect corpses. We're not kidding. They're much bigger, elaborate decoy spiders hanging in its web to trick anything that wants to eat them. The artful arthropod crafts its decoys from dead insects, debris, and leaves a defense mechanism. It's believed to be a new species, a genus that includes other sculpting arachnids, but none of which have been observed to build replicas with multiple spidery legs. Such sites are not out of the ordinary for the Amazon, but as you get closer, the apparently decomposing arthropod can begin to wobble back and forth as if it were alive. But don't forget, that spider form you're looking at is actually made up of tiny bits of leaf, debris, and dead bugs. Clever, right? But creepy. It turns out the master designer behind this somewhat creepy form is in fact a tiny spider. However, even among the decoy building species of Cyclosa, decoys with legs and the web shaking behavior have not been observed before. There's a first time for everything, right? <laughs> uncontacted Tribes Researchers in Brazil say they found one of the world's last uncontacted tribes in a remote corner of the Amazon forest. Filmed using powerful zoom lenses from high in the air, we finally get a glimpse of their daily lives. They're a simple tribe living a simple life, and they're not used to outsiders. And recently, an expert who fought tirelessly to save indigenous people was slain by the uncontacted tribe he was trying to save. It's thought the tribesmen may have assumed he was one of many invaders devastating the forest around them. In fact, most of the forest surrounding the reserve has been destroyed and occupied by ranchers and loggers, so the apparent aggression shown by these people is quite understandable. Could you imagine what our world looks like to them? Their tribe exhibits a Stone Age culture with simple tools and weapons, clubs, spears, and bows. They cover their bodies with red body paint extracted from seeds from the anato tree. Their shelter, huts made of leaves and wood, are surrounded by gardens of manioc, bananas, and papaya. They're members of one of Earth's last uncontacted tribes who live in the thick rainforest along the Brazilian-Peruvian frontier thought never to have any contact with the outside world. <laughs> Mysterious Boiling River Welcome to the hottest river in the world and not because it's a popular place to visit. The river is actually boiling. Travelers with a sense of humor have even used it to fry an egg, even make a cup of tea. That's how hot it is. In a rainforest of Amazonian Peru, scientists and explorers discovered the world's largest thermal river, running hot for nearly four miles. 
Some parts of the river are said to be so hot that various animals that have fallen in have boiled instantly. So don't even try to go for a swim. Fed by both boiling and near boiling hot springs, the river also feeds several thermal waterfalls along its length, the most impressive of which is a 20-foot drop into a large thermal pool. While the river's extreme temperatures are not unusual for a geothermal surface like this, it's deemed remarkable in that it's non-volcanic. The nearest active volcanic area is hundreds of miles away. In fact, and this river is said to be the crown jewel of an unusual collection of three non-volcanic rivers in the area, but they're much smaller in comparison to the Boiling River. The Boiling River hovers on the boundary between scientific fact and myth. Historically, a place of pilgrimage for shamans and sorcerers, the river now faces increasing threats from poachers, loggers, and squatters. Worst Pain Known to Man Could you pass the bullet ant test? It's not much unlike sticking your hand into a nest of honeybees. And yeah, that's a thing. Here, it's a twist on a test of manhood in the Amazon jungle to be bitten by the largest ant in the world. Native to the western rainforest of South America, the bullet ant reaches over an inch in length. They're fiercely territorial, demonstrating aggressive behavior toward rival ants. Rarely venturing on the forest floor, worker ants forage for small spiders, insects, centipedes, and nectar, one of the bullet ants' staple foods, and it lives in colonies of several thousand ants. And for their bite, it's true that tribes have been known to initiate boys into manhood by enduring a bite from this ant. And that's why it's known as the 24-hour ant. The pain can last a full day. With symptoms described as waves of excruciating pain, temporary paralysis, and shanking in the poison area, there's some good news. Although the venom contains paralyzing neurotoxic peptide, the pain is only located in the area of the bite and the venom doesn't spread to the heart or the brain. Whew. Despite its bad reputation, the ant is normally quite docile towards humans and other larger animals, reserving the use of its mighty sting solely for defense. <laughs> Beastly Centipedes this centipede sheds and eats its own skin, but it's still hungry for more. And if that isn't bad enough, just look at it. The Amazon's giant centipede is one of the largest centipedes in the world at a length of up to 12 inches. Yeah, a foot-long centipede is found in various places in the river system. The Amazonian giant centipede is not only very venomous, but it's extremely bad-tempered. Centipedes tend to hunt during the night, so for this reason they almost never come into contact with people. However, insect lovers have been known to keep these in large terrariums as pets. No thanks! Bites reportedly cause severe pain, local swelling, and nausea, although death from bites is rare but not impossible. In fact, one human death has been attributed to this beastly centipede's venom. It's a carnivore that feeds on any other animal it can overpower, including large insects, spiders, millipedes, scorpions, but also small lizards, frogs, snakes, rodents, and small birds. They've even been observed eating bats, too. They do this by climbing the walls of caves, then grasp onto the bat with their front legs while using the back legs to secure themselves to the cave wall. Astonishingly, they're able to hold on even while eating. Once secured, they inject prey with paralyzing venom. Then it's supper time. Killer Otters these adorable animals may be fun to watch, but don't be fooled, they're very territorial. Even if a jaguar gets too close, the otters fight back as a team and win. Known throughout much of their range as river wolf, giant otters are amongst the Amazon's top carnivores. The giant otter, the largest of the otters in its total length, is the cousin of the sea and river otters in North America, Europe, and Africa. Here, they prefer habitats where there's easy access to hunting, places in relatively shallow waters, but despite maintaining separate territories, these otters are highly social mammals with activities that include hunting, grooming, resting, and splashing around. This species is diurnal and lives together in family groups numbering up to eight individuals. A family consists of a mated pair and their offspring of several generations. The family members clear an area beside a stream for their living quarters, usually near feeding sites. Sizable burrows are then built under fallen logs. The established territory is then marked by their scent, and if intruders invade the family's territory, the parents will defend to the death if necessary. 
No matter how it gets in the Amazon jungle, there's no shortage of chilling things to discover. These videos prove it. And since you like us so much, like and subscribe and share this with your friends and family. There's more where that came from.